This, is a, this session is a practicum, it's an exercise. We're going to give uh, folks an opportunity to reflect on lies that Satan has told in their culture that have impacted their lives. And, and I know, Darrell, when you've taught this around the world, it has often stirred up some very profound things for folks. And uh, I hope it happens, you know, for people that are doing this lesson as well. But tell us, maybe you could tell us a little bit about a time when that happened. And one of the greatest uh, causes of poverty in the world is a lie. And that lie is that men are superior to women. And in virtually every culture in the world, that lie is present. And I remember I was in Spain recently doing a conference and we started talking about this lie. And sometimes when we teach, we come to what I call holy ground. <laughs> Something happens where the Spirit of God breaks into the room. It's nothing you can plan. Mm. You can either miss it or not miss it. <laughs> uh, sometimes I know I miss it, but this particular night uh, we were talking about this lie and a pastor stood up and he essentially said, I have to confess, this lie has been part of my life. And I want to confess and ask forgiveness of the women in this room mm. because I've realized that I have based so much of my life and my relationship with women on this lie. And then he said, I've never done anything like this before, but as an act of repentance, I want to wash a woman's feet. And somebody on the staff of the school went and got a, a basin and a towel and some soap. And the pastor came up to the front and he, he said, is there a woman that would allow me to wash her feet. And there is this <laughs> stillness. And a woman finally came up and sat in the chair. And he kneeled, knelt down before her and began to wash her feet. And as soon as he did, both he was crying and she was crying. Hmm. And I don't think during this, these moments there was a dry eye in the room. Mm. Everyone was crying because they understood that this lie had dominated their culture, not just their lives, but their culture, their nation for and it was in the hundreds. Church as well. It was in the church as well. He's a pastor and it is in the church as well. And this for these people was a historic moment in their lives. God met them. It was holy ground. And this pastor was washing this woman's feet and kissing her feet. Mm. And after he was finished, he asked all the men in the room to stand and to pray and ask the women in their lives to forgive them. It was a powerful time. It lasted for about 45 minutes. Mm. And uh, God was present, but it was this conviction that we had seen the lie that has dominated our lives. And we want to repent of this lie and say never again. Mm. So this exercise can have a profound impact to cause people to look at a lie that is dominating their life, even as Christians. Right.